Hey, you guys, it's your host Stacey Eck, and I'm here with the woman of the hour, Miss Robbie Reed. This is the 13th year you've done this. 13 or 14? 13. 13. Yes. How has your expectations changed every year? Every year, I'm so amazed at people that show up. Yep. I'm that person that thinks nobody's ever going to come to my party. Or I'm never going to cast another movie at the end of one. It's always been like that, silly. But um, it's just amazing. It's amazing by the amount of people that. You know, but there's so many like minds, and it's great when you when you actually link up and can and can get it done. You know, what made you decide to focus on health and living healthy? Well, it's always been important to me. I've had in my family and very dear friends who have suffered and have been challenged by life-threatening diseases. Many of those that we. Um, support, you know, and advocate for. So it does seem like a no-brainer. So I had a question for you. With Straight Outta Compton, the casting, there was a little bit of controversy that came out with the casting, the breakdown for a specific type of black women. Now, you know, to tell the same story, to tell the same narrative, how would you have changed that? Or is there no way around it? You know, saying dark skin, big booty, like specific type of words, would you have changed that? Or is that the way to tell that type of story? I think you have to, you know, use integrity and be honest. Honest. I think that you also have to be responsible and understand the sensitivity of that. And when I heard it, I made phone calls to people who I felt were responsible for it. Uh, you know, I have a brown skinned daughter that is an athlete, so she's very built. Right. You know, so I take, you know, my own responsibility and all of that to heart and how our images and are put out there and how we support each other in that. And I felt like there was another way to say it. You know, I know they were trying to be true to what took place, and I understand videos were cast a certain way. Right. right. Now, you know, in the early 90s. Right. But there was definitely, I think, a much more delicate and sensitive way. How so? Because that's what I was trying to figure out. I stared at it, and I was like, but how else? Because I saw the movie, and I understood the narrative. Well, how number so? one, you don't say A, B, C, D. It's as simple as that. You don't say the D girls or the dark-skinned girls. You just don't. High five to Robin. Love that, love that. And I know you love How to Get Away with Murder. Are you going to be watching in two weeks? Or is it a week away, I think? Is it a week away? I can't wait for it. I can't wait for Scandal. Yeah. Can't wait for Empire. I, I can't wait for Being Mary Jane. Yes. Yay. I love that. I love that. <laughs> and last but not least, any of your movies that you've casted that you want to cast a sequel to that you're like, okay, we need a part two? Well, actually, one that we're paying homage to today, Love Jones. I would love to cast the sequel to Love Ooh. Jones. Okay, you guys. I'm yes. Get ready for that. Oh my God. I'll be like already of age now to watch it. I like got in trouble when I tried to watch it as a kid. <laughs> so tweet that. Right. Love. Thank you so much for talking awesome. to us. And you are so amazing. Congratulations on this event. Thank you so no much. Problem. Thanks for being Thank here. You guys. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.